Paulo. It's in your face, man. It's in your face. It's uh, like there's no room for any thinking, weakness, nothing. It's just pure speed. Like there's no room for anything other than speed. <laughs> so I lack, like this is a weakness. Like I, 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 in the races, I don't have that, that this speed. And the, the way the sport is going, it's all these young guys coming up, doing middle distance, long distance. So this is really good for me to come here and uh, you know get totally out of my comfort zone and see like true amazing speed. Like there's no there's no uh, getting around it. I, I got to figure out a way to get some more speed. <laughs> I feel like I performed above the training, which is always what I would like to do is transcend the training. Come in fit, fresh, and ready to transcend the training. And I believe I did that. So. It is a job well done. Unfortunately, um, you know, this is not, uh, definitely not my strengths and these guys are really good athletes. And so it was good for sixth place, but uh, it was the best I could absolutely possibly do. I literally have my best round in the final round. So there's no, I couldn't have paced it any better. I had a PB in the swim, 225 in the last swim, which for me, Long course, I mean, I half the time I swim that in short course yards. So <laughs> when I'm doing reps, so it's like, it's as good as it could possibly have gone. And uh, yeah, it seemed like through the race, you progressed to get faster, even the fastest bike split course record on the third heat as well, third round. Um, I, you know, I've learned a lot over the years and I learned a lot last year in my training and then I'm learning, you know, and continuing to learn. And, um, you know, one of my things that, that was, I think, greatly neglected last year was anaerobic stuff, you know, super threshold type efforts. And that's already something of mine that's not very good. And so then to neglect something that's already not very good is, I think, a huge problem. And so you can see in these races, um, or rather I can see that I'm able to hold a fairly high output and I can do it continuously and I can do it, um, you know, consistently over and over, but to go even t a slight amount quicker than that particular output takes a massive amount of energy and a great reduction in efficiency. And so... Now, to be good at middle and long distance, you don't want to just focus on that type of effort, an anaerobic, a super threshold type effort, but it's definitely, it's the ceiling. You, you, you do need to focus on it in some way. And so this, this race really showed me what's out there. You know, guys can do reps of low two minute 200s and you know, still have great, still able to bike well and run well off of that. And so it showed me what's possible in a very short, explosive setting. And now I can take, you know, what I've seen, the inspiration that I've gathered, and I can bring it back to my training. And I definitely will keep the swim bike in particular brick in my training because basically this week I've done 10 swim bike, well, swim bike run bricks and usually i would do that in an entire year like I, I would only do a swim to bike in a race and that's just a huge problem for a weak swimmer who needs to a take it out really hard and b because there's always a deficit take out the beginning of the bike quite hard to get back into the mix uh, it's just a huge problem and to neglect that uh is a mistake and so this this race now i wouldn't necessarily do such short you know just a 4k bike or in a 1k run type efforts but um i would keep the swim quite short such that it can be like the gun going off in a race multiple multiple times so that was a great lesson and uh yeah it was a lot of fun i mean obviously if it was a real bike i would have got last place so you know that's that's just a fact 
but it was on Zwift and you know I have spent a ton of time on Zwift so I think I have a pretty good sense of how to perform well in that environment under those circumstances and I've also spent a ton of time on a treadmill I haven't spent a ton of time on those curved treadmills which was cool and I actually think I might get one because I, I do see some potential uses for those things that could be beneficial for me particularly with my type of weird stride um, but yeah there was no negatives this, this was a wonderful race I greatly exceeded my own expectations and um, I think it was only positive. I got a great anaerobic, actually it was like an upper threshold and then the final round I, I allowed the anaerobic side. I went to the other side of the threshold for sure. Uh, so it was like a good threshold, upper threshold stimulus, um, which I think will pay dividends. So then the next training block I will do more of some extensive threshold work because I did, just did a massive amount of intensive threshold. Um, and then just continue to try and raise the ceiling and become efficient in the middling effort. So I'm, I'm really excited for the season. Super League's the best in the business right now. That, that, that's for sure. Like the, their whole operation, their whole media, how they, how they produce things, uh, the program, the, the, it's just, uh, they're, they're the best in the business. How they're, how they're like organizing everything for us. I mean, we've had shuttles going nonstop. We've got airport transfers organized back to the to the airport tomorrow. Just absolute seamless, and so yeah. I mean, I'd say all the organizations currently can can definitely learn something from the Super League and the way that they're doing things, because uh, I think it showed today that I mean, we have a bona fide you know entertainment sport on our hands when packaged properly and. Um, yeah, there. So we can all take note. All entities involved in this, if we want to continue to grow our sport, can can take a lot from this. I mean, that was just an amazing experience, one I'll never forget for my whole life. Uh, you know, I I really enjoy MMA, and I like that's what I watch on the weekends. That's what I like to spectate. And, you know, this was probably the closest I'll ever get to experiencing what those guys get to experience when they walk out to a stadium and, you know, it's just guys going head to head and everyone's there to watch. And it was an amazing experience. Like, yeah, an indescribable experience. It was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, allowed me to push myself further than I would have been able to do without people there. And it was just deeply inspiring. I, I'm excited to, to keep the train rolling and to continue to improve. And I think I still have more to give. And I think I can be competitive at middle distance. In, in, in a year's time, I think I can be competitive at, at long distance again. But I have to get the ceiling high and I have to become efficient at faster paces. It's, it's all there is to it. And so this was the beginning of that. This was, this was a stepping stone on that, that journey for this season. I just want to thank and congratulate all the dudes, quite frankly, who did this race because I felt, you know, I was a bit intimidated coming in, having to go up against a lot of ITU guys and a lot of younger guys. And these dudes are all cool and like super welcoming. And yeah, I felt like I was I was part of the part of the short course group for a, for a day. So I thank everyone for that. And of course, uh, Chase had a wonderful performance and uh, it's just amazing to see the level that these guys are at and their, their capacity. And these are the guys who, you know, in a few years time, I mean, they're gonna be coming hunting for the middle distance and the long distance crowns. So uh, you better come, come see what it looks like firsthand. So I'm starting to see what it looks like firsthand. It's a lot of fun. I, I do wanna give a huge thanks to everyone who came out to spectate. It was a wonderful event. Um, you know, I, these things can't go on without you guys. And, you know, I think it's in the name of our sport and I'm really, I'm really grateful that everyone came out and uh, proved that, that triathlon's fun, it's entertaining, and we can continue to grow. Well, I gotta get home to my, uh, my baby boy, whom I miss a lot. It's my first time leaving him since he was born. So that's my first objective. And then secondly, I'm gonna get back on the grind for three more blocks and we got a date with the goat on April 1st.